would take any chances on that one. Kasi yaman, oh, talaga nung draft ng dalawang teams na to. Kasi parang kahit sino pwede mo yung, ano yun, daming, ang lawak ng hero pool. And speaking of hero pool, one of the, medyo oh, flying under the radar mm -hmm. ng marksman dito sa tournament na to, it's the Beatrix for Benny Cutie. A classic pick as well para sa goldener na itong Echo. Siyempre, isa rin sa hero talaga na maaari natin masabi na naging signature na rin. Isa siya sa top 5, ayan. Top 5, sure, for sure. Ni Benny Cutie. Habang ang AP Bren naman, guys. Ang ngayon, they're still missing a hero for Super Marco. Or if ever man, siyempre, pwede pa rin naman maging Rome na promise to. Pero let's see how it will go. Kiritel is good. Uh, Brody is good as well. Um, malaming options dito para yung Super Marco. Or para mas bagay nga if ever sila mag-Brody dito, eh. Diba? That extra range din talaga. Aside from the torn apart memory, still and that is even the pantakas pero it's Leslie, my man. Leslie and Minotaur. Grabe naman, Leslie, the first Leslie naman to for sure. Netong with a zero percent pick rate. Wow, this is interesting to say the least. Ah, why did? Bat 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 And alam naman natin kapag kinakasting kasi yung ultimate snipe, you could opt not to push through. Diba? Nakikita niya kasi vision yung vision. Lang, vision lang, uh. vision lang. And more so kasi syempre yung extra damage kasi ng isang Leslie. Kahit pa, pwede natin sa'yo pachupi-chupi na konti. Diba? Uh -oh. diba? Pa koti-koti siya doon. Pinigyan yung camera man ng hello. hello. <laughs> Kinuha naman yung camera man. Walang <laughs> joke. First time ko nakita yun. <laughs> At iba yung meta iba, rin sa Indonesia. Iba meta sa Indo. <laughs> Um, um, inaasahan ko yan. Feeling ko sa M5, ibahin din natin yung meta. Mugulat <laughs> ka, binigay na yung camera sa audience. <laughs> sa M5. O kaya, bigyan mo ng clapper yung camera man. Oh, para pa iba. Swap tayo, palit tayo. Uh, gutom na yung at, camera man doon. Eh. At gusto ko doon, eh, nakita mo naman yung okay. camera. Game na game kasi, eh. nakakamay din yung nagawa sa kanya. And it's actually chocolate flavored. Na chocolate, the best. Panda. Oh, the best. Oh, yeah. Classic. Nothing uh, beats a classic. Yeah, and very classy din, syempre. Imagine it on-site ka. Ikaw ang first ever sa kasaysayan ng mm -hmm. MLBB on-site na mag-aabot ng pagkain sa camera man. Kilista mo na yan. Na For the Pero, first time. Eto na. It's not Uy. going to be the first time, but the second time na magtatapat ang AP Bren at Echo. Match point for Echo. At ulitin lang din muli natin. Ito na ulit. Ang masasabi natin ng Echo naman ngayon, nagagamit ng Rome na Arlot. And Sanford onto Benedetta. Still, yung Benedetta na to, quite scary talaga to. Oh, syempre. And Benedetta, of course, one of the, ano yun eh, pang swing yan ng mga teams eh. It's one of the XP laners that it's hard to predict. Because normally for XP lane, you'd want your your you'd think. Na yan ni, de ba? Na to. Sino kaya ang unang makikita ni mga katis ni Super Mario? Na nararamdam niya to. Rakhard sabi. Hindi siya sleepy. Hindi siya very cute. Tapos may katis ni. Ang bilis tong instinct niya to na. And this is the reason why I said, even if Leslie is Super Marco, he can still play. I swear, the instincts in how to approach the lane is actually very unique. He's one of the safest gold laners I've ever known. Aside from, obviously, the top tier gold laners right now in the league, right? He's the top of our battle for international tournaments such as this one. And Super Marco, so far, Lalo sa meta natin, sobrang hirap for a gold gainer oh. to stay up na untouchable. This was makapag-form up, up, up until the very end. Pero for Echo right now, target nila is the first turtle box. Yeah, first turtle. So far, pinapaligiran ng mga Orca. At syempre naman, Scarl TZ, kung sino pa. Syempre, ang makuha ng unang turtle. Pero what will AP Bren do? Yun ang tanong. Parang gusto pa nila lumaban. Late ako bumalik with a special migration to the Violet Requiem. Nakapunta pa late ng Pagya. Ang Netherrealm ni Kuya Few at dahil doon nagsibagsaka ng katawan ng mga AP Bren members around the Turtle Pit. Grabe din liver ni Sanford sa finish line yung tatlong miyembro Straight to ng the base. AP Bren. It's going to be an early triple kill. Grabe. For a Benedetta pa. Yung kanina sinasabi natin He ng got? condition na mas gusto niya mag-cut lane at mag-pick off. Pinagsabay niya lahat yung mm -hmm. Rampart. Hinigop niya lahat ng gold na nanggaling sa kills. At kita mo naman pati yung gold na galing dun sa wave. So talagang busog na busog ang Benedetta na itong si Sanford, level 6 na agad.
Look at that. Echo right now just going through heights to go and get this game as fast as they can. Hapang na ipi bread naman. Siyempre kailangan le prolong. Especially on this one, si Super Marco isa na talaga sa pinakaasahan natin na magiging main damage dealer nila. Cal TZ on the other hand, he needs to relax talaga. Nakikita naman natin that he's just targeting each and every jungle monsters available onto their side. And hindi sila pwede maratel sa nangyaring early oh. triple kill na yun. Kalmado lang muna. Nako! Ultimate snipe, naramdaman yung kapat. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe yung katark na dyan ah. At syempre naman si Carl TZ is gonna miss on the special migration which means na mabubuhay ang miyembro ng AP brand pero looks like yung tore nila ang magsasuffer dahil doon. Of course, a lot. Uh, malaki ding flicker advantage na uh -huh. kuha ni, ano doon, ni Benny Cutie laban kay Super Marco which means pwede ding mag-ground to ulit ang echo dito sa baba. Medyo Mabilis ang jump scare yun para jump kay Super talaga, no? Marco kasi nagulat siya. Magkawin, wait up! Uy, kita mo yung mama eh. Sakbo ka agad eh. May ako rin, medyo nagulat kahit na nakikita naman natin. Nasaan <laughs> sila? Sabi ko, apat na yan ah. Pero Echo right now, they're the perfect scary. place to contest this third out. Quite yep. scary for AP Bren. Right now, AP Bren trying to contest at the very least, try to get into retribution range para dito kay Ogwen. Pero malayo pa si Kuya Kyle, which means Carl TZ will be getting that turtle for free. And makuha pa yata ng baka. Ogwen gonna fall. Where is the fight gonna happen here? Benny Cutie naman ang madadali dito. Oh. Nang AP Brand Super Marco going down few as well. Nako po, nagwawala na ang mga Orca. JP though, gonna be taken very, very local. TZ, nako po, munti ka na. Nakasurvive pa si Daddy JP. It's going to be four members na matitake down ng Echo. Grabe mechanics fight doon ah. And make it an unofficial wipe out. Grabe. And meron naman palitan na doon ah. Pero look at the scoreboard. Two at eight. Napabor para sa Echo. Maganda yung palitan. May mechanics na naganap doon. Uh, which means na eye for eye yung Tore and everything. Pero may palitan din na kills na napunta naman sa AP Brand. Pero look at the items pa rin. Yun yung pinakailangan yeah. tingnan. Nakita naman natin, that's the early blade of Hepta si Stelly Kay Sapper. Kaya nanunuot kasi. Diba yung bawat tayo. Makapit eh. Cute lang tignan yung, syempre yung Dukan si Skin. Oo, oh, syempre. Pero syempre yung mga slashes nun, guys eh. Iba mga yung slashes. Iba yung mga slashes. Talaga sa AP Brent. Ay! Eh, nakita natin agad ngayon yung early conceal from Echo. Sasalubong si Cal Daisy sa likod. Just stopping them on their tracks. Pero rock hard sa so, nangyaring pick-off na yun. Parang, Almost wipe out talaga yun eh. Nagkataon lang na sobrang haba na naging team fight. Nagkanda buhay na rin yung iba. Oo, yung spot timers kasi mababa pa. Yeah. No? So, ito na yun. Uh, hindi pa naman totally ano eh, unbawiable para dito sa AP brand. Pero so far, dahil doon, pwedeng medyo mag-asim ang echo. Ayan, pumapasok na doon sa likod. Kinukuha din yung purple buff kay Super Marco pa na bigay. Ngayon, ang hapon ngayon, is si Carl Easy. Sino madadali ng Violet Requiem? Nice timing here from Few on the Nether Realm. Pero looks like it's gonna be a little bit way too late. Super Marco trying to look for Sanford here. Pero yung laban nangyayari dito sa purple buff si Carl Easy ngayon in Hubble. Super Marco going down. Sanford with a kill. And si Sanji as well, making sure na wala nang hahabol sa kanila. And now, it is gonna be turtle number three. It's still going to be a two for one trade of Echo still getting that lead there. At si Carl TZ, matik siya mamatay, but with just one spatial migration. Ang bilis niya makatakas. Tapos, grabe din yung nakukuha talaga nila dito ang objective. That's three straight turtles again. For side of Echo, 4K gold lead. Seven minutes pala tayo sa laro natin. And so far, even by the QD right now, isa man yung death niya, pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang aga din na nakakabasag ng Tori after the Earth. Hindi din biro yung, ano, yung pinapakita ng mechanics dito ng Echo. Eh. Although AP Bren, obviously, meron naman silang yung subuang gawin. Ogwen having a hard time finding the sets. At ngayon, with a combo from JP, matadali nila ngayon si Super Marco. Mahirap na ang buhay ng Leslie dito. It's it's gonna be hard for the Leslie to survive this onslaught of skills. Grabe no, sunod-sunod, ang daming slashes, ang daming slashes ng Echo. And aside from that, Carl Kizzy, standalone player na siya dito. Although, <laughs> it was a bit of an overstension on his part. Yep. Knowing na kakaraspawn lang din dito ng Purple Buff, they could have contested that one out, which is what other members are doing. Just delaying things up for Carl Kizzy. Habang ang AP Brent, doon naman sila medyo magkakapitalize dahil wala hanggang magbubul masyado. Aside from what Sanford is doing. Yeah, exactly. And right now, Sanford looks like a medyo free hit, kumbaga. Free hit kahit anong gawin niya sa mapa ngayon, eh parang hindi siya masyadong mapapanish. 
Okay lang sa akin. Oo, okay lang eh. Diba? Kasi iba yung mundong ginagalawan ngayon ni Sagward. Standing na 6-1-3 rock hard. Ay, yeah. Honest Benedetta. Ready rin yung petrified niya if ever to rumble dito. Maybe Brent. 4-11 ang kill score. Maybe Brent, hindi pa rin naman ganun ka one-sided niya nagiging labanan. There's still a comeback for them. Lalo na ngayon, magre-respond in a few seconds yung first Lord for this round. Echo right now. Hinahanap nila yung iba pang spots sa pwedeng pagtaguan ng mga squishy heroes such as Super hmm. Marco and even Ryu kanina na so far hindi pa natin nakak nakikitaan na magandang time with the Nether Realm kasi laging napo-force yung pang escape, hindi pang pang initiate, pang yeah. clutch moment para makapag-treat iba members. Hindi siya and proactive eh. Also, ang isa kasi sa problema rin ng Navy Brand, yung continuous push around the map dito ni Sanford. Wala kailangan may choice. tumapat. Oo, oh, kailangan mag-react. No? Pinapwear sa sila ng Echo din na mag-react. And uh, yung adaptation dito ng Echo yung maganda eh. Yeah. And I speak new adaptation, napansin mo ba? <laughs> Dalawang miyembro na nila ang naka-Twilight Armor. Na. <laughs> Sobrang agang Twilight Armor kasi <laughs> alam na nila yung Leslie yung tatama sa kanila. Kasi sabi nila, wait lang, mas okay na ng prevention, di ba? Prevention is better than cure. Yeah, it's better to prevent it early. <laughs> Habang ang AP brand naman ngayon, paano naman nila ipeprevent pa balik? Yung mahirap. Kasi ang problema nila dito, hindi nilang siyempre sa gold network na hawak ng Echo, but all Also, on the way they will synchronize your skills, paano yung ili-layer? Kasi isa ngayon, ah, na-activate yung ultimate sila knowing na pang-escape ito, katulad niya nangyayari ngayon kay Ogwen. Naku, si Ogwen! Nadali sa gilid bago siya makapag-ultimacy. Ngayon, it's gonna be a 4v5 na meron pang Lord na naglalakad mula sa baba. Now, medyo mabagal pa yung Lord na to. Mm -hmm. And may mga minion waves siya makaharap, which means pwede pa namang mag-5-man defense ang AP brand dito. Pero... Itong Torres sa gitna, most likely will start to fall and dahil doon, liliit ng liliit pa ang, ang mapa dito ng AP Brent. Sakta na naman ang tada 10 minute mark, tatlong inhibitor na lang ang natitira for AP Brent. Parang merong nirevitch na KPI dito eh. Mukha ang ha. echo eh, ba? Diba? <laughs> and nakikita naman natin yung performance na dito na yung nag-i-indicate talaga na pinagplanuhan nila na maigi and as well as well-drafted yung nag-i-indicate plan nila na e-execute pa nila na maayos. Naku, si Super Marco pa nga ang nadali doon sa gilid. Nako. At dahil doon, it's gonna be a harder defense kasi yung medyo kailangan up, close, and personal ang labanan dito ng AP Bren. Now, pinapaulan sila ng mga bala din ng Super Mark or the bit cutie, rather. JP. And that's gonna be a beautiful pasok mula dito kay JP as well, making sure na makuha nila yung inhibitor turret sa gitna at pati na din sa baba at sa top. That's four members onto the side of Echo knocking on the various doors na ngayon. Madedestroy pa nila yung mga tore ng AP Bren. Ito ko start of it, Super Marco being taken down. So, na-eliminate agad yung risk factor dito for Echo na wait lang, baka tayo mapitas. Eh, hindi na. Kasi there's no Super Marco. And aside from that, grabe din kasi yung mga jump leader Carl TZ with his Guinevere, which is to acknowledge for talaga. And nakita natin na, hindi lang yung Violetric Wim, but also on the spatial migration, di ba? The energy waves, ang dami niyang way na pang-initiate. And aside from that, with what JP is doing, grabe, ito yung inaasahan sana nating Arlot na setups na ginagawa na ngayon ng Echo. Yun nga eh. The Arlot setups na inaabangan natin buong torneo na to. Every time may Arlot room, ina inaasahan natin yung mga ganitong movements. Pinapakita yan ni Dali JP ngayon. And uh, I would say very, very impressive so far for Echo. Ito na yung sinasabi ni Reptar talaga, Echo, bullet train, napakabilis. Uh, rumaraga sa mga kaibigan. Ito yung instant replay natin. Mapapansin natin na ganda ng pasok leader Carl Tizzy with the Violet Requiem. Tapos Magic Tom, tatama. And after that, special migration lang. Tapos the rest, it's up to uh, Benny Cutie to deliver the much needed damage to annihilate them. At ngayon, With just one instant replay, buhay na yung Lord. At mukhang free Lord to for Echo of Everman. Kasi maganda yung position ngayon nila sa Andy. Kyle TZ trying his best na makalapit. Pero mukhang hindi siya hahayaan dito. Even Sanford there. Just flying around the map. Pushing off waves of minions. Kaya mapipilitan yung umatras ang AP Bren. And Echo will still get that second Lord for game number 2. Kaya yung light is good para dito sa ano yung sa Beatrix din kasi. Kaya pag nangyari yun, parang kahit ano pwede nilang gawin. Kahit anong klaseng engagement. Kahit sino mauna, si Sanford man, si JP, or si Carl. Parang laging maganda yung follow up. Ang ganda ng sync nila right now. Yeah, and the momentum is there. Nap napapasin natin yung drive talaga dito ng Echo to finish this round early as fast as they can. Ngayon, sakto pa, balancing out the minion wave 
Just to call TZ, this might be the last defense that they need. But it depends on what they do against Echo. What we're talking about right now is the damage coming from AP Bren. Where will it be? Benny Cutie, I'm just going to be fresh. Fresh that JP, the Anthony Angulo here. Carl TZ and Sanford looking for the kills as well. Lord in tow, looks like it's going to be done. It is going to be a knockoff for a lot of members here for Echo. But the win still goes to them. Beautiful game.